Hi there, this is Kate Borland and I am going to show you today how to use Buffer app to help you manage your social media marketing in a way that you're posting consistently and uh, staying in front of your followers on a more regular basis. What Buffer app does is a tool, it's a software tool that lets you drip feed um, your marketing posts or your what you're sharing to your be social media profiles over time. So you set a schedule um, and then in terms of what days and times you want to share content on your on your um, social profiles and then it will just you fill it you fill it up and then it just automatically drips it for you. So let me show you exactly how it works. I'm gonna sign in with Twitter and you can sign up with Facebook sign in with Facebook or LinkedIn if you so choose. I do want to note that it will sign log you automatically into whatever social profile is already connected um, or is already open. So I'm logged into my Twitter account so it automatically logged in me into the buffer account that's associated with that particular Twitter account. Alright, so you can see here these are the social profiles that I already have connected to my um, buffer app account and let me show you how to add those into your account. So this is your um, the, the social networks that you're able to share, that you're able to add into Buffer. You can add a Twitter, you can add one Facebook, a LinkedIn, as well as a Google Plus. The free version only allows you to add one of each. So um, for instance, Facebook, you can choose to add a, you know, connect a profile page, a, pers a, a, a business page, or a group. Um, LinkedIn, you can add either a profile or a page. You can't add both with the free version. If you choose to upgrade, you can do multiple, um, you know, you can do up to 13 different accounts that you're able, or social profiles that you're able to share information to. So let me go back to the dashboard and show you exactly how it works. So this is my content queue right now for my Twitter account. And you can see I have eight articles in my queue that are going to automatically get dripped to my Twitter account. Now also I'm going to show you for Facebook here, this is my, my personal Facebook page or account, I have one post that's queued and then also for my Facebook page I've got um, it looks like three that are queued in my personal Facebook page. Um, so it's, it, it's not one size fits all, you can, you can set a schedule so that if you want to post more often to one social network than the other you're able to do that. Let me kind of pop back over to Twitter here and we'll show you how that works. So here's the queue. Um, this is what's already what's in your queue and when it's going to post. So I have today is already filled up and so then it's kind of um, gone over to the next day. I've got three posts scheduled for tomorrow. So I don't really have to worry about in terms of Twitter is have I posted today. It saves you time and that um, you're, you, you know that you always consistently have things going out to your social profiles. Um, BuffRap also has some su a suggestion tool. Now I do want to point out that this tool is primarily focused on marketing and social media and entrepreneurship and things like that. So if you are in a niche that is not necessarily about entrepreneurship or building a business or m social media, the suggestions are probably not going to be really valuable to you. But in the next video, I'll be going through Feedly and how to um, connect Feedly to Buffer App, how to use Feedly with Buffer App so that um, you're able to have the same level of suggestions and kind of create your own suggestion um, portal. All right, so that's your content, and all that you'll do is from the suggestions, you just simply click, and um, I'm going to just add that to my Twitter feed. I can, if I want to, let me go back over to Twitter here into my queue, and let's say that I want to add, make an, I want to edit this, and um, I'm going to add a hashtag so that people find it. Oops, it would be helpful if I had a valuable that hashtag. And I'm going to click Save. If I wanted to share it now, I could share it now. If I wanted to move this, let's say I wanted to move this to the top of the queue, or I wanted to post this today, I can just move it or I can drag and drop it wherever I want it. I can move it to the top if I wanted to. So um, if I click move to top, that's the next thing that gets queued. So now you can see that this is the next thing that's going to get queued for my Twitter feed. Um, so it's a very, very easy tool to use. Now I'm going to jump over to the schedule and show you how to set up a schedule. 
Um, I have my Twitter feed set up to go, um, I think it's posting eight posts a day, and I have it going from 4 a.m. to almost midnight. Um, and I do that because there's actually a lot of interaction that takes place um, in, in non-business hours. So I, I want to kind of be present in, because especially because my market is more global. Um, but you can make it specific business hours if you want. You can make it between 8 and 5. And all that you do is you just add a posting time. It will automatically um, then say, well, this will be the next time that it's going to. So it added at 11.50 a.m. And um, so now I have 10. I'm, I don't really want it to post that often, so I'm going to exit that out. Um, I can, if I want to change my posting schedule, I'm able to do that. Let's say I have a Saturday, they say I wanted a Saturday or Sunday schedule or a, you know, a, a particular, a different schedule for Mondays, so, you know, Tuesdays. You can set it by the, by the day, by the week, um, completely flexible in terms of how often you are able to create your posting. Very, very simple to use. Um, and then when you and you're also able to have a different posting scheduled by different social networks. So let's go over to my Facebook, and if you can look at my schedule here, I have three posts scheduled to go out on my Facebook page. Now I don't necessarily post to Facebook three times a day, but the reason that I have three um, time slots set into my buffer is if I were to post something, if I only had eight o'clock in the morning and I saw an article that I wanted to share and I shared it and I posted it to my Facebook page, um, I would have to log in and I'd have to, you know, share it immediately. So I know then that I'm, I, that it, it, with it, there's three opportunities for some content to get shared to my Facebook page during the day. I don't necessarily share three articles a day. Sometimes I do. Usually it's one or two. Um, but I make sure that I have different times queued in here just so that I make sure that something shows up on my Facebook page on a more regular basis. Um, pretty simple to use. One other thing that I do want to um, talk about in terms of Buffer is it does let you, there's a little app over here um, that you can drag and drop into your browser um, into your browser and it's this little applet here and what it lets you do is it lets you post directly from things that you're browsing on the internet so I'm going to do a search for um, entrepreneur and let's see what comes up and then I'm going to come over to news and let's see if there's anything here that I want to share um, this is a good article from entrepreneur so I'm going to go ahead and open that article. I'm going to look through it and read it and say, yeah, this is definitely something. I'm going to skip the advertisement here. Um, this is something that I want to go ahead and share. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little applet and then Buffer will pop up. Hopefully, Buffer will pop up. So the little pop-up comes up and this is the article. It's a link that's connected directly to it. This is what the post would look like. And um, you can make changes to it if you want. I'm going to actually add a hashtag, which is going to be um, entrepreneur. And I'm going to post this to two different. I'm going to post, post this to one Facebook page. I'm also going to post this to my Twitter feed. So I can post to multiple platforms if I want to. And you know what? For the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and add Google Plus and LinkedIn. So this one article will now post to a Facebook page, my Twitter account, as well as my LinkedIn account and my Google Plus account. And I'm going to click Add to the Queue. It adds to my buffer. If I go back over to Buffer, I can see now that it is added to this Facebook page. Oops, let's go over to Content. So you can see here this is added to the Facebook page. Um, it is also added to the queue for my social for my Twitter. It's going to be posted tomorrow on Twitter. It'll be posted on my Google Plus page today, and I don't remember where else I shared it. You get the idea. So that's pretty much how you use Buffer App to keep yourself consistent and um, content flowing through to your social media networks, so that you don't have to remember to go find stuff every single day. Literally, you can, if you wanted to, you could spend a Sunday afternoon or a couple of days a week, um, just 10 or 15 minutes a day, finding things, that, finding articles uh, that are relevant to your niche that you're going to go ahead and pop into your buffer and then know that 
you ha you're, you're active on your social profiles um, throughout the week. I do want to point that point out that in my case here, I've shared ev other people's stuff. Make sure that you are, if you have a blog, that you're sharing your own articles in the same manner so you can go to your own website and you can share your own articles um, because you do want to have backlinks to your own um, your own website as often as possible but you want to have a balance between sharing other people's stuff and your own stuff so hopefully that helps the next um, video is going to be how to use I'm going to walk you through how to use buffer app in conjunction with um, Feedly in terms of finding and sharing content have a great day